I was fairly optimistic when Chris Christie first became governor because we had a reform agenda that was being done on a bipartisan basis. After the Wisniewski and Weinberg investigations began, I believe that the Democrats have taken the process of reform and turned it into an investigation into so-called Bridgegate. I want to redirect the state back to the reform agenda, and here's the plan. First, I'm going to propose a constitutional amendment that will make the redistricting process more competitive, meaning that a substantial factor in redistricting for the redistricting committee will be balanced, political balance, within as many districts as possible. Governor Kane once said that most people want you to govern from the middle. Well, what's happened, because the redistricting process has become partisan, meaning that they pick a Republican map or a Democratic map, and the process <coughs> does not include the following factor. That factor is make these districts as competitive as possible. The reason you want competitive districts is because when you watch people vote, legislators vote who come from competitive districts, they tend to vote differently than their caucuses sometimes because they understand they have to appeal to middle ground. They have to be problem solvers. We've seen that across the board. We see it in District 1. We've seen it in District 14 and we've seen it in District 38. So we need a map that would reflect this so-called bipartisanship that we see in swing districts. So by proposing a constitutional amendment that would require this 11-person panel to have as one of its substantial factors the competitiveness of the district. Now, of course, there's always going to be some districts that are not competitive. That should be one of the key factors in the redistricting process. I also believe that we should move up redistricting from now seven years from now, uh, approximately, to a short period of time after the constitutional amendment. And then we will regain that bipartisanship that is so desperately needed in the state. Right now, and you see this at the federal level, because the districts have become so partisan, representatives play to the wings and not to the middle. So that would be the first proposal that I would uh, submit and submit by a constitutional amendment uh, to the Office of Legislative Services. Second, I would establish four strategic planning <coughs> committees. Now, all of you who have been down here for a long time realize that we have committees, but these committees only deal with the issue of the day. They deal with whichever bill is on the agenda. There, there are no committees which deal with long-term strategic planning. Now, any business worth its weight has a long-term strategic planning committee. So I would establish four committees, and I would want equal Democrat and Republican involvement. First, a strategic planning committee that looks at the school funding formula. And the, in my judgment, the most egregious part of the formula now is that it's a formula. We saw the recent scandal in Newark, where $22,000 a month went to catering. Anytime you see that, you know that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know if you see waste like that, there's other waste. And of course there's waste. When you send money into a district, that is not reflective of success or tied to efficiency, it is not going to be an efficient formula. So we need good faith Republicans and Democrats to look at that and reevaluate this so-called Supreme Court mandate. Second, the same strategic long-term planning committee would look at phasing in 401ks while preserving the pension for those who earn those pensions, and working with actuaries and experts on how to revamp that system long term. You can't do that in one committee 
during the few me uh, meetings they had during the session. It has to be a long-term commitment. We know that we've got $57 billion in unfunded responsibilities to this fund, and therefore you need that long-term committee. All of these committees would have experts appear to help the committee long in, in, in determining what the long-term uh, procedures or long-term uh, solutions should be. <clears throat> Another important strategic committee addresses inheritance tax, estate taxes, and estate income tax. I assure you that this is a significant threat to the stability of this state. When you talk to people who are business people, and I do this constantly, this death tax is death long term to this state. People are planning now to leave. There is no doubt in my mind about that. The state income tax is also a significant factor. You need a group of bipartisan legislators with goodwill and uh, the ability to talk to each other coming up with long-term <coughs> solutions. And last, the business incentive program. We sponsored on a bipartisan basis the Economic Opportunity Act. I have heard over and over again criticism and soundbite criticism of what EDA does. Now, in New York, you see an incredibly effective advertising campaign. In New Jersey, and you hear from both sides of Ohio, that they're upset with EDA or any of the uh, incentive uh, entities giving incentives. We should all be behind that. And we should have a unified approach to, when I say unified, unified as the face of New Jersey. If business can't trust our word, that we're going to keep our word with these incentive programs, they're going to be skeptical about moving here. So even though I think EDA and Michelle Brown have done a terrific job, I don't think we should have people uh, in the grandstands criticizing everything they do. Because people hear that. So you need a business incentive, a strategic long-term committee to show those who want to do business in New Jersey that we're, that we're working together. You, the more partisanship you have, the less of a strong message you're sending to the business community that New Jersey is going to continue long term in making uh, opportunity available here. So we've been managing the state, at least in the legislative area, by crisis <coughs> or by a legislative committee. We need to turn that into long term strategic committees. I think that the administration has done that. They look long term and they continue to look long term. It's time for the legislature to do the same thing. Tomorrow I'm going to be in Ocean uh, City with uh, Assemblyman Sam Fiocchi to uh, talk about business incentives as well as talking to business leaders and elected leaders to talk about this so-called bipartisan approach to the long-term future in New Jersey. And uh, from the day I got here, I wanted to work on a bipartisan basis, and I'm hoping that this will be the uh, beginning of long-term solutions to a state that I think many times only reacts. And I have to tell you, I'm hoping that the Democrats will continue to work with Governor Christie. I think the governor's done a terrific job in starting this reform process, and I hope the legislature continues down that road.